Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Woki, and I'm back with some Dragalia Lost. Today, I'm going to be talking about Grace, and if I sound a bit tired, it's because this is the fourth time I've tried recording this video. So many things have gone wrong trying to deal for it, so hopefully fourth time's a try. So why are we talking about Grace today? The reason is, is that because the dream ticket is currently up. Um, the dream summon is a summon you do that is paid currency, in which you can get any character that is, um... Not a Gala unit and not a collab unit. Uh, that includes dragons and adventurers. Um, and whenever you ask anyone who should I get for the ticket, a lot of people will say, do you have Grace? And if you say no, they say pick Grace. And if you do have Grace, then you're free to pick whoever you want. Because um, usually the dream ticket is a way for you to get the unit that you want the most. But a lot of people do say that if you don't have Grace, you should always think of picking up Grace. And the reason is that she makes autoing a lot easier. Uh, so today's video, I'm going to be kind of covering her, just as the last time I covered her, um, it was back when I did a, I think, like an analysis of how her banner originally came off, and I don't think that did her enough justice, just because I didn't, I never thought that she would end up being used on every single team, and <laughs> helping a lot with auto, so that's what today's video is going to be, um, gonna look at grace so what does grace do well first of all grace has two shield two shields has two abilities one is a her skill one which gives a let's quick take a quick, quick look actually because i can just actually look at grace yeah sorrow's requiem nope sorrow's requiem which uh, if the user's hp is below 40 percent of max hp when the you using the skill increases the entire steam defense by 30 percent for 15 seconds if the user is above 40% uh, HP, reduce their HP to 30% to max HP to and grants the entire team a life shield that nullifies damage relative to the amount of HP lost by the user when using this skill. This shield can stack with ordinary shields. Uh, she has Earnest Prayer, which is 100% defense for 5 seconds. Um, she has a 4 strike co ability, a shadow HP below 40% equal shields um, chain co op ability. She has a four strike that, um, what? Everything fine? Yeah. She has a four strike that dispels and it can recover a bit of her HP. She has blindness resistance and she has a healing double buff, which means every time she gets a defense buff, she heals for 20 seconds. Um, so why is she so good? Well, first of all, you can use her in a lot of team comps. The main thing that you always want to use with her, though, is these worm prints, which I'm about to show right now, is um, the Odd Sparrows, which gives a healing double buff, max 3, which grants an HP regen buff for 20 seconds for each time a defense up buff is received. Um, you want to use it on the entire team, as you can see here, everyone on the team has it. Um, in terms of the other... Um, kind of prints that she has. I think the third slot, it kind of depends on what fight you're doing. Since I use this team a lot for high Jupiter um, auto farming, I give her the high Jupiter resistance because if she dies, you have a lot of problems with the team. Um, you use two skill preps, so she has 100% skill prep right at the start of the battle. And I you use study rabbits to give her some more HP because the more HP she gives, she has the better um, her shields become. For dragons, that's why you also use, as you can see here, I'm using a Zezel, but there's also um, anyone that has an HP buffer is very good for a shadow, would be good with her. Um, and the other thing you kind of want to have, so it depends on the team comp, like obviously if you used her with Wind, you would kind of want to use her with someone like um, Hope, because Hope also has a defense buff up skill, which would mean that he's also contributing to healing. So anytime, because of the prints everyone has, anytime anyone uses a defense up skill, it makes the team automatically better. So the main comp for Shadow is usually t um, Grace and Apothea and then two DPS dealers. Um, the way I have it is that I just have Apothea's skill, so I can just use it whenever I want. It's not as good as just having Apothea on the field, and honestly it would be better if I had Apothea instead of um, Iyasu. Um, but I kind of like this team the way it is now, so whenever whenever I'm going to get ready to auto-farm Master Cayenne, for example, um, I will gladly give the team some better stuff to work with. Um, but for now, this kind of works out for me. So this Shadow team, I also should say, Shadow is extremely good. 
but the shadow team could be a bit better. As you can see here, the Yasu, his blade black wing is not the greatest. It is all I have for blade shadow. I should really give him something better. Even a Chimera attack would be better. So let's actually use him now. You can see that's the team, but let me actually show them in action. So the main thing you want to use with Brace are the basic things I just showed. Um, and you should be good. Nope. Wrong, wrong, wrong gauntlet. Man. Here we go. It should be able to auto this, no problem. Um, as I talk a little bit more. You also want to make the first unit um, that gets selected, because every unit that's not selected gets a defense up buff when they're not being used. Um, so it's kind of important to have the unit with the most defense up front, or the unit you want to least die, because I want, um, cause Yasu and um, Veronica can die very easily. I keep them away from the front, and I kind of replace them with Alex. And Alex is really good. I really like Alex. Gal Alex is of course extremely good. One of the better Gala units. I could probably add Gala Cleo now that I think about it. I could totally have Gala oh, I should just replace the Yasu with Gala Cleo now that I think about it. Um, as you can see here, the team is not taking any damage at all. <laughs> Graze is the only one kind of taking damage, but because of the setup of the team, she gets all of her HP back at the end, and we have no real problem with them. But this is Markiel. Markiel can actually deal a lot of damage, so not to discredit any of that, even if it's not the highest level. Um, but you can see here, I had no real issues with that one. Let's go into another fight. Not uh, Merkel, because obviously... So here's one. Here's a fun side story, because this is one of the things I messed up in. Um, I meant to do the Advanced Dragon Trial for Jupiter. Ooh, cleared all. Later. Wait, how do I read the epilogue? Okay, I'm going to pause. I need to read this. I'll be right back. You, if you want to see it, read this, do it yourself. All right, that was a pretty good epilogue. Okay, now let's get into the actual fight. Hi, Jupiter. I actually went into regular Jupiter Master thinking that it was the fight that I wanted. It totally wasn't. So I'm like dumbstruck saying like, damn, I beat him in two seconds. That's crazy with this team. And then it turned out like, no, I'm an idiot. I'm sure glad I did not release that video. I would have been seen as a fucking moron. It would have been so bad. But thankfully I didn't do it. So let's see. Let's see how the fights are. I should have realized when he didn't do that blast that it wasn't the fight, but hey, what can I do? Um, so this is kind of them doing their thing. The main thing <laughs> the main thing that can be tough for this e the AI is that you don't actually want to ever be around Jupiter. So honestly, I shouldn't have brought a um, Iyasu and Alex to this fight because they're actually not very good for it. Uh, but someone like uh, Veronica is actually very good because she can kind of stay far away from it and not have really an issue. But they're not really having an issue here at all. I think they're gonna beat them pretty. Yeah, they. Yeah, they beat them. Good job, team. You beat them. You beat them. I believed in you. Oops. Don't worry about it. Ended up working perfectly fine. I will keep everyone safe, even if the cost is my life. You go, girl. I believe in you. And now we're really talking about a um, a fight that I'm not sure of. So I'm not going to do it because I did it in the previous video and it went badly. So I know for a fact that this team isn't ready for um, uh, the Agito for expert on him. Not yet, anyway. I'm going to go into Cayenne. Um, Cayenne can be kind of tricky because if you're not fast enough, then the AI can die very quickly to him. So I'm just going to do standard. Um, do that there. Um, so even if, <laughs> Grace can save you a whole bunch of time, but I think, actually, you know what? I'm gonna be right back. I'm actually gonna replace with Pati and see if the team does a little bit more consistent. Alright, so I've made some adjustments to the team. Let's see if they're able to have an easier time with Cayenne. The problem with Cayenne is that they were just dying constantly. I should also completely forgot that Pati actually gives a, um... A HP buffer, so I'm thinking that this should go much easier, way easier than previous times. At least let's hope, huh? From the mouth of babes, babe, babes, babes. Nope, don't use wormite. <laughs> All right, let's go. Um, but yeah, a lot of the stuff with like autoing a team comes down to like figuring out who you have on the team then kind of building it around to see like, well, this unit works well with them, so I should really build towards them. It just so happens that um, um, 
Grace has a, a very good teammate with, Bat with Batia, and both of them are shadows. They can technically be put on any team you really want. Um, at least especially on, in the early game. At least I think so. You give me your thoughts on her. Um, I definitely think with the current buffs that everyone's had that it's actually a little bit easier that you don't have to rely on Grace like you used to. Um, so that makes it so there's a little bit more team builds that you can do that are actually uh, viable as opposed to just a lot of just like, who works best with Grace as opposed to that. Like, you can use Templar Hope with Lowen and have equally good times and not have to worry about anything. But, um... I don't know. I like I like Grace a whole bunch. I also never felt like I always feel bad looking back at that old video I did. I'm like I never really gave her enough respect. I feel for how good she ended up being because I really didn't expect her to be as good as she did. People are able to predict how good Dragalia units are. I never do until I actually have them in my hand to play with. Um, all right, let's see. They seem to be doing pretty okay autoing so far. By this point, at least one of them had died um, when I did this last time. Okay, not bad, not bad, not bad. You should be able to guard. The problem is that they don't deal much damage. But that's the thing of like, I need to just improve everyone's weapons. My main DPSs should have their weapons buffed in some case. Um, and then work on some of the side units to get them stronger as well. Um, that's definitely something I can definitely do. <laughs> Me, myself. Um, even with someone on my level, I just ignore a lot of stuff because I'm like, eh, it was kind of annoying before all the changes to 2.0. But now that all the changes to 2.0 have happened, I'm like, it's actually way easier to do that. I should just do that because it's going to make my life easier. So I do it. Yeah, they're doing perfectly fine. They're going to be able to beat Cayenne, no, no issue. I, I say before it happens. You got it. I also do have another kitty. I was thought about giving Fatia the other kitty, but I don't really think she needs the kitty. And Shinobi's level 100 as opposed to the other one that was like level 40. You got this. Yeah, they got this. Easy. It turns out turns out actually using Fatia as opposed to just using her skill is way better. What? <laughs> what happened? Oh man, I need to buff Fatia in some way. I think that's the, that was the sign of that right there. I don't know what happened. She like looked, she looked at him wrong, and she died. All right, come on, remove the shield. Let me go to here. Nope. They're both dead, but it's fine because they're gonna get revived. And they should be able to kill him now. Wow, everything was going so good until it stopped going good. What? What happened? What happened? Alright, I'm gonna have to hit that retry. BRB. Okay, let's try that again. I'm back here again. Doesn't seem like anything was gonna stop him this time. It might be the big balls. Alright, come on. You, got, you girls got this. Don't screw it up here at the end like last time. Man. Okay, come on. Okay. Come on, get it, get it, get it. Heal. Okay. Come on. What in the world happened there? And then everyone's dead. There's no stopping this now. Alright, here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna switch to her. No, go, go here. Go here. So here's the thing is that I think the main problem here is that the DPS isn't fast enough. So the, the second they get to this part, they, the AI just crumbles. Because they don't know how to beat it. Nope. We're using that. Just real quick. She should be able to live that. Just get another dragon. Right? Come on, you should be able to win. Come on. Come on. Come on, you. <laughs> God damn it! Alright, I'm, I'm back. And this time I actually took control of them just to confirm that they actually kill them. The problem is here is that they're not doing enough DPS on their own and they're dying right there. So. And no, no, no. Stop going there! Yeah, the problem is, is that the second that this giant thing comes up, they don't know how to play anymore. They forget how to play. 
Um, they just don't remember how to play the game anymore. Which is really funny, is that they just don't know how to play against this specific fight anymore. Like, literally, the AI is literally running to their death. Man. Yeah, I need to improve the shadow team. So Grace can't save you from everything. You still need to build up your units. So you should build up your units, I guess is the basic takeaway. I'm done trying with this one. I have to get my... I have to train up everyone and actually get them to work again. That's the end of today's video, everyone. I hope you enjoyed seeing this and seeing me suffer. Oh, you can see here I've beaten Kayama on, on auto. God damn it. So annoying that they don't have enough DPS. Let me see, how much is everyone's even abilities? 9,000, 8,000. Yeah, it's not enough. Not for auto. They need to be way higher. Need to be way higher for Agito, at least. Because once they get to that phase of the fight, they can't fight anymore. They, they literally, the AI completely shits the bed. Uh, someone once described to me as Grace as the fix for the AI. Nope, the AI is not fixed. You should definitely 100% get working on it to make them better so they don't do stupid shit like that. That's the end of today's video, everyone. I hope you liked it, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.